Hey Familia, Igni here and welcome back to Shadowverse playing some PTP Shadow, a deck that isn't very good, or wasn't very good, and probably still isn't very good, but I do think it's worth playing more now because of Demonic Procession, allowing you to combo it out with Lara much easier on turn 5, as well as just adding more draw engine to what is essentially a combo deck. Of course, your main driver for Shadows is Phantasmal Core, and if you weren't aware entirely, Hades uh, gives you a Path to Purgatory, which deals 6 damage to all enemies if you have at least 30 Shadows, so you're trying to get this down as fast as possible, trying to get the 30 Shadows as fast as possible, and then win the game from there. Uh, yeah, of course, Gensetsu is just great for the Accelerate defensively, and it's 4 Shadows for 1 card. Same reason why Mechawing Angel is great, Mechawing Angel is also good because it plays with Ghoul very well. So let's give this a go. See if we can't make it work. The only problem with uh, the Mecha Wing Angel is that it kind of interrupts your hoverboard draw a little bit. But I do like having the one off hoverboard just because uh, draw is good in a combo deck, you know. And you want pretty much all the draw you can get. I just think Mecha Wing Angel is too good in terms of uh, shadows plus draw with Ghoul that uh, you don't really want to cut it out. If you want to draw the Phantasmal Core more uh, often, you can definitely cut out Mecha Wing Angel though for something else. But anyway, let's give this a go. Control tools, draw, and the combo pieces, that's what this deck is all about. It still does require you to get lucky, or at least not unlucky. I will say I did play the deck quite a bit, or not quite a bit, just a little bit, uh, before this video. I essentially just started playing the deck today, but yeah, I, I did play it a little bit before recording this. And goodness gracious, I can get unlucky, man. Hades loves to hide in the bottom 20 of the deck, let me just tell you that right now. So I'm going to try and mulligan aggressively for my combo pieces here. Didn't get it, but I did get Mechawing Angel with Ghoul and Guilt, so it's a good source of draw. This is going to be Control Forest, which is really just Roach in Disguise, which means that I really want to get to my Hades as quickly as humanly possible. I also still have to play this deck. That's for sure. It's on my list. I also got a couple of requests to play Control Forest, so definitely on my list. Uh, but besides that, let's just try and make this work, shall we? Uh, here we go. Here we go. Demonic Procession on one. I think I'm gonna save it. Uh, because it's really good, again, like I said, with the combo with Lara and Hades. Of course, you don't have any of those pieces now, but that could change. Given the fact that we have so much more card draw as well. Echoing here for sure. And then I probably ghoul on this, and then I can also guilt if I want to draw as many cards as possible. This is probably trading, though. If I had to guess. It is control deck, after all. They want to trade. That's their whole shtick. They love trading. It's their whole thing. But, yep. Ghoul and guilt. Ghoul and guilt. Can you make a play? Hello? Great to, Great meet, to meet you. you. This might be Roach into <laughs> Bounce. Wouldn't be surprised. Roach into Machina Tree. It is basically a roach deck. No roach, but we just play the Machina tree. Okay. I mean, that's fine. That's fine by me. I'm just gonna ghoul. What's in the box? There's the Lara. Right, where's Hades? Not here. Alright, is this gonna be a Hades bottom 20 kind of game? Or is this gonna be a have mercy on me and actually give me the card that I built the deck around game. Because depending on your answer, I might just lose. Or win. So, it's pretty important that I get the answer I want here. Good thing is that we have Gourmet to control this a little bit and not just super die. And then we have the Gensetsu on turn 5, which is pretty nice. But I would love to get, obviously, uh... Hades here. He's thinking about whether or not he wants to trade. If he trades, I'm very happy with that. I would love that. Thank you. Okay, cool. Let's just play some cards out. And draw more cards also. Impressive technology. Yeah. I can play Mino and then go. Get more shadows and more cards. There he is. Perfect. Nice. I got the combo. This will be Demonic, Hades, Lara. It's going to be wonderful. I might have... I, mm, I should have just evolved this into this, actually, probably. probably just should have done that, right? Just destroyed this, and then I could play the Hades on five. That'd be good. 
We're not really using my Evos much. And, you know, if I did that, I'm preventing the bounce. So that was probably a mistake. But I did like the idea of conserving my evolution points for Kitchen, which is why I didn't do that. Because I thought this might go long. Or not long, but I might need the, uh, the Flaming Hot to stabilize in the mid-game. But it looks like he's just going to take a really slow route here. Might even just play it back down. It wouldn't surprise me. If I can get another Hades, of course, that would be amazing. Or another Lara. I mean, or just another Hades would be good, honestly. Smithy. What? I'm losing my mind. Why are you running Divine Smithing in your control deck? Hello? Okay, well, we're doing this pretty much. Hey! Pretty much no matter what, what I was gonna say. That's exactly what I wanna see right now. Thank you, game. Hello. Hello. I mean, we're not at 20. I'm oh, sorry, we're not at 30. We are at 20, but we're not at 30. We wanna be at 30, so where's core is the question. Give me core next. If I draw core on this next draw, I'm going to be very happy. Please let it be core. For goodness sake. There's Lodica. Alright. That's weird. Also wasn't expecting Lodica to be run in control. Or in Roach control anyway. Maybe in normal control. What is this deck? It's my question. What is happening? I don't even understand what's going on anymore. But I don't hate it. And it works out good for me. Might just play Hades next turn. Accelerate Hades. Why not, right? Deals with the Lotica, and I got another Purgatory down on board. It isn't exactly the most shadow generating play, though. I could have played Ginsetsu. That would also be very good. Ginsetsu into Procession. Get tons of shadows that way. And save the Hades for a wider board. Given they play double smithing, I might like the wider board. Or the, the answer to the wider board. So it seems likely. Now yeah, let's do that. I'm just gonna procession as well. Let's get this out of my hand. Mummy chef. Okay. Cool. Again, not evolving, so I can maintain Kitchen if I need it. Kitchen into Flaming Hot there. Plus, Kitchen, Kitchen, Flaming Hot, Flaming Hot is enough shadows. <laughs> I also have the Mummy Chef now, which is great. I can manifest Malice, Mummy Chef, Procession something, which should be good shadows as well. Or... If not shadows, draw at least. The ghost doesn't give me any shadows, sadly. Alright, let's make a play. I have no idea what deck you're running, but it looks pretty ineffective so far. I'm glad that the Hades is able to basically just get a free win, it looks like. Well, you know, let's not speak too early. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. But if I can win, I'm, I'm happy about it. Let me tell you what. I just wish I knew what you were playing. I've never seen this deck before in my life, and it's baffling me. I don't understand. Explain. Explain, please. What is it you're trying to do? And what are you thinking so hard about? These are the answers I need. But I'm going to be at 27 if they deal with this fox. Then I really just need three shadows, which is super easy to get. So that's cool. Happy with that. I could literally just Hades plus Procession next turn, actually. Which would give me two... Path to Purgatory that are active. So let's do that, actually. I've, I've figured out the best play. <laughs> oh my goodness! Even better! Hello! How could we? How could we let this happen? <laughs> oh, we're supposed to be smarter than this. All right, bye. Got all three. I'm happy about it. Oh, it didn't proc. That's right. It's an end of turn effect. Well, that's a bummer. I could have gotten both the proc if I didn't do this combo. But, you know, this is also fine, I guess. 
<laughs> Maybe actually, it's probably better to just activate it like a normal person. But I just had to do it to him. You know what I'm saying? I just had to do it to him. No, it was definitely better to just activate it like a normal person. End of turn effects. Why do you do this to me? But hey, I got the third one. So even this ward of unkilling, it's, you're still taking 15 damage. So that's cool. You know, I'm, I'm quite a fan of that. Please tell me what you're playing, man. I don't understand. No roach the entire game. What is even happening? I don't get it. I don't understand it at all. Explain. Okay. Maybe you just didn't draw the roach? But even then, like, smithing in this deck? I don't know about that, man. It's weird. Like, Carbuncle Trades, that's fine. Don't really care about that. Okay. Let's go Hades. Join us. Don't even play anything, so Airbound Barrage can't do anything. That just dealt 15 damage through a Ward of Unkilling, so I'm happy about that. How are you gonna make it out of this one? Watch him pull some crazy OTK that I had no idea even existed. <clears throat> That's what it feels like is gonna happen. But I, I don't think there's anything in rotation that can actually OTK me here. He could live if he had just like Primal Giant Spam though. That is definitely a thing that he could do. He still hasn't played any of his Primal Giants. So if he has like triple Primal Giant, he could just live, which would be kind of cool. Bad for me, but definitely cool. You gonna play your Primal Giants? I mean, if, even if he plays Primal Giants, you know, I have Manifest Malice Evolve Ghosts, which is lethal from 20. I have plenty of removal for any wards to get in the way, so I'm pretty confident that we have this in the bag next turn. They kind of just accomplish nothing all game while I have three Path to Purgatories up. I don't know. I don't know what happened this game, man. Whatever their game plan was, it did not work out. I'll do better next yep. time. Yep. Nice. Path to Purgatory. Getting a W. Against a weird deck, but hey, a W is a W. Maybe we'll play against something a little oh, more orthodox next again. game. If it's Rune, well, best of luck to us. I think it's possible, but we have to really kind of high roll and get the uh, the Hades down as soon as possible if we're playing against Rune. Against Rune, play the PTP soon. That rhymes, so it must be true. Who's up next, though? It is Forrest again. Okay, maybe this is the more traditional Roach. Let the duel begin. Wait, uh, in which case, yeah, we're going to have to try and get the PTP off as fast as possible. I mean, the plan stays the same, really. Alright, this hand kind of sucks, but, you know. Probably should have kept the guilt, honestly. But I was really hard mulliganing for the combo pieces that I needed. Maybe that was too aggressive. But hey, we got the guilt in the end, so you know, it worked out, I guess. I'm likely to just... Do, do I death mistress here? No, this is better. Thank you, Mino. Thank you, Mino, for existing. Appreciate you. I mean, it would have been good turn one, so I could play Ghoul on it, but hey, this is good too. And we got the Hades! Nice! Next step, Vara, please? That'd be cool. I mean, this is a really low-tempo play on their part, because it's all Chemical Confectioner, so this is definitely the turn I play Phantasmal Core, and another one! Let's go! This is exactly what I wanted to see. Heck yes, man. Heck yes. This is great! Might even just Phantasmal Core again next turn. And then I could just get Setsu to evolve the turn after that. <laughs> get hella shadows. Okay, man. This is what I wanted. I, I think I... Yeah, this is a super low tempo from them. Playing Traveler's Respite here. And nothing. Okay, Phantasmal Core number two. Let's go. This is great. <laughs> Pretty much exactly what I wanted. And they ain't at some low master points right now. And they're they're at a pretty high level, I think. Yeah, seventeen thousand over here. Look at that. Are we gonna score a win with PTP Shadow Offensive? 
I think so. I really think so. Thank you, Phantasmal Core, for being a card that exists. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's disgusting. How did this happen? So many shadows. I'm so happy about it. And don't get me wrong, I'm very happy about it. Okay. I wonder if I trade these two. Because if I trade this one, I'm slightly more vulnerable to Arya. So I will actually take these two with us. And 3 is a bad place to be anyway, given Airbound. So I think it's better to trade the two 1-drops. And have the chance that my 5-defense uh, guy lives in Arya's whirlwind. There's Airbound. Oh, never mind. They're all dead. Okay. Well, I mean, I wasn't really expecting them to live anyway. So it's fine. I mean, they're evolving this for sure. Yep. And I can easily get to 30 this turn. So let's do that this turn. That's what we're doing this turn. <laughs> Never mind, we're not doing that this turn. We're doing that next turn. Because we have the other one, which is amazing. And I might get Procession off the top, and if I get Procession off the top, that's pretty much GG. Okay, so he's going to try and bounce a million times. I mean, he might succeed here. He might kill me with Roach before I can get any defenses up. Which would be obviously bad. Obviously, that would be not good. He's getting close. I mean, he's already at four. So... He could deal quite a bit of damage next turn already. Which I'm not happy about. I'm telling you, man. Control Forest is a, is a lie. It's literally just Roach in disguise. <laughs> is what it is. Ooh, but thank God for a Gensetsu, hey? Dan. Uh, Dan? Who's Dan? Damn, is what I mean to say. Hello. Okay. Who the hell is Dan? What are we talking about? Okay. Let's Death's Mistress, the Death's Mistress. Get this out of here. I don't need this. Okay. Oh, there's Lara. A little bit late, but you see, I'm only getting but I'll take it. And we're just getting bodies up against. Oh, why did I do that? I'm already at 30. <laughs> why, why, why did I do that? <laughs> Whoops, that was like a little bit of a brain fart there. No problem. Don't sweat it. If this dies now, it's a whirlwind. That's totally my fault. That that's a that's a a whoopsie doopsie move. A real bingo bango. What is that? What's bingo bango? What's that from? They're all died to win. Great. What is bingo bango? What is that? Bingo bango bongo. The Frank Sinatra song. I really heard it. Oh, it's in Fallout Three. Oh, that's right. That's where I heard it from. Ooh, a ward card. That's exactly what I want to see at this moment in time. Thank you. Okay. At this stage, the objective is survive. Roach is a card that exists, and I don't want to die to that card that exists called Roach. It's called Roach. It's the card. Roach. I mean, Ginsetsu would be great. <laughs> If they don't heal, I can at least Hades, but I can't imagine they're not healing here. They're drawing quite a bit. They're gonna play, like, Primal Giant out of nowhere and get back to 20, right? So... Can we please get a W? Please don't just kill this somehow. Don't play double, May. Okay. No! Hit the droid! Thank you! Nice! That's a GG. There's no way. There's no way they can do anything, though. That's a GG. Man, that was lucky. Fortunate. Definitely fortunate. I'm, I'm happy about it. Hey, Woohoo! No heals! Nice. Good game. Bye. Join us. Ah, the sweet taste of victory. PTP taking two wins over Forest. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Maybe we can get another class to fight against here. Two wins against Forest is nice, but what everyone really wants to see is this deck triumph against Rune. Which I don't know if I can deliver that to you today, but we'll give it a go. Let's see what the game matches up with. Uh, matches us up with, and if we can make it work or not. But that was pretty surgical. I like that. That was good. 
that went pretty that went pretty swell. Pretty much exactly according to plan. Except for the time that I attacked the guy in for no reason. But don't worry about that. We don't have to talk about that. That's fine. Okay, let's go. Shadow. Okay, well this is a good this is good too. Shadow is a tier one deck. Let's take it out. Uh, if it's PTP mirror, I don't know what's going on with the world right now. But if it's not PTP mirror, then this is my chance to take down Gensetsu with PTP, which is cool. Don't know how good it'll be, considering Ginsetsu has so many storm cards that we might just die. And by that I mean after, uh... I mean after... Uh, Shoot and Doji, everything's a storm card, so... It's a bit upsetting, isn't it? It looks like it is, uh... Ginsetsu Yokai Shadow here. Ooh, Procession is good. Procession is a good card. I think I'm just going to Ginsetsu, though. And get this thing out there. Take less damage this turn, then I can ghoul it, and then I can go to it. So that's cool. That's exactly what I want to do. What is this? What am I playing against? This is not Yokai Shadow all of a sudden. Yes! Exactly what I needed, thank you. Perfect, nice. Just draw a million cards, please. Cool. Next turn I have a... Uh, ooh, another Hades too. Next turn I have uh, Gourmet to clear up anything. I can also just Manifest Malice too, which is fine. Are they also playing PTP? It kind of looks like it. But that was a pretty low tempo turn from them, which I'm very thankful for. Which means I can just take this out no problem. And draw hella cards in the front. That's what I want to do. Detestable. I'm gonna overdraw one, that's fine. Don't really care about that. That's what I needed. I'm very happy. Exactly what I needed. I don't care about uh, I mean I'm I'm trading evil points for life here, which is uh, crucial, so I don't die, obviously. I mean they've also got the Phantasmal Core down. I have to imagine this is also gonna be a I mean, that might just uh, counter Demonic Procession. No, okay. Fantastic, cool. So they're at 25, 26 already. Wow, okay. So I'm definitely wary about turn 6 Hades from this guy. Considering he's already leaning quite far into it. Close your lips and live. Sonata of Silence is an interesting card to play. It is card draw. Oh, that hurts! Ah, oh, did not want to see that. That was not a good mulligan. Or a mill, rather. Oh, that sucks. Okay, okay. Well, we can come back from it, but yeah, that does that's, that's sad. That is exactly not what I wanted to see at all. Alright, out comes this guy. Phantasmal Core here is going to do a lot to get us to where we need to be, so... I'm not feeling too stressed. Because we're going to be at, like, 27 after Phantasmal Core, and then I can easily get there with Procession. Plus another spell. <laughs> Procession can set to get me there. I mean, they haven't played Hades yet. So. Maybe he doesn't have it yet. He also plays Tartarus in the deck, which is confusing on me. Maybe he's just a Tartarus deck, man. Maybe he's not even a Path to Purgatory deck at all. He's literally just Tartarus. Or literally just, uh... Uh, yeah, Tartarus. I got it right the first time. I don't know why I hesitated there. Don't worry about it. Okay, this guy's evolving. The more damage, the better. only getting stronger! For a little map. What do you this is Procession the Ghoul. Don't need that anymore. Uh, nice. Okay. Oh, we actually didn't get that. Oh, I've miscalculated. <laughs> I thought that my Lara would die that turn. That's that's what my mental calculation came from. Okay. Don't worry about it though. We're fine. If he just if he plays harder, I can just double Hades him and win. So it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. My earlier mental calculation was taken into consideration when if Lara died. And she didn't. So it didn't work out, but you know, it's still we still won. We still got a Delby up. But again, that wasn't really a meta deck. Let's just do it again. Let's just do it again. 
I'm really wanting to face up against the meta deck here, man. I mean, Control Force is definitely meta, so we got we got one win against a meta deck there. But the other two, I don't know what was going on, man. I have no idea what was going on. So we'll do one more. We'll do one more. And hey, if it's an L, then it's an L. But if it's a win, that's four wins in one video, and I'm happy about it. Dragon. Okay, well, Matro Dragon is a threat. It's not a bad deck by any means, man. I think it's kind of on the rise. Ooh, perfect. Okay. Ooh, I like it. Okay. I mean, the only way this could possibly be better is if we could get Mino as our turn one play. Not Mino, but there's all of our combo pieces immediately. Okay. So what I'm really hoping for right now is Mecha Wing Angel. I think that'd be our best two drop. So if we can draw Mecha Wing Angel, then I think we're pretty much set. It's not Mecha Wing, but I'll still play. It's a source of two shadows for one card. And I can draw with Fool to turn after, so I definitely just play it here. Alright, out comes Pathfinder. There's the Angel, a little late. But that's fine. I might just play it. I'm just gonna play it. I can ghoul one of these guys. The good thing about this is that the Pathfinder can't sack itself to summon Ramp Bird this turn, which slows him down a little bit. Not by a lot, but by a little bit, which which it matters. It matters. Okay. This here. Pop up, do that. Let's see. Another ghoul. Not another ghoul. Did get a Gensetsu. Probably will save it. Or should I? Should I save it is the question. Or I could just play it this turn. Because next turn I'm likely to do Procession Hades Lara. So the question is do I want the immediate presence now, or do I want to wait for a turn where I can activate it for five? I think I'm going to do it now, because that next turn, like, like I said, is instantly, without hesitation, Procession Hades Lars, and I just want to take as little damage as humanly possible at all times, at this current moment in time. Uh, ideal... Draw, Demonic Procession Hades gets me a Hades, and the draw after that is Lana, because I have Death Mistress in hand, so that would obviously be great. Alright, so I'll be able to kill my guy. That's totally fine. I could even just score mazes, but I'm not going to. Ooh-hoo, nice! Oh, oh, it's filthy! Yes! Okay! Now I just need the other Hades, right? We're set. Obviously, the Hades goes into this, because he would die anyway. So I get maximum value out of this Father of Purgatory. Run that guy into that guy, and we're at 16 shadows. We're about to be at 18 when these guys die. Phantasmal Core will get me to 28. And then Death's Mistress will get me to 30. And I'm, I'm, I'm already I do doing to a 6 even more perfect is that my ghoul didn't die. Which is exactly what I wanted to see. This on. Oh, we're doing the thing again where my calculations are off because my ghoul didn't die. <laughs> Alright, hold up. Let's see what we can do. The touch of death. Guilt. Nice. Exactly what I needed. Ah, <laughs> uh, what are you panicking about? Everything's fine. Everything worked out exactly according to plan. Oh, and there's my Hades number two. This is GG. We got it off so early. Turn six, Paths Purgatory active is insane. I love to see that. And there's pretty much nothing they can do here. So that's GG. Four wins in a row, baby, with Path Purgatory Shadow. Enjoy the 30-minute win streak there. I enjoyed it. Hopefully you did too. Man, I think this deck might be worth running. Oh, I will say, though, we didn't play against Rune, so, you know, your mileage may vary depending on how much uh, Kuon you're running into. But, hey, I think the deck is a lot better than it was before this expansion. That's for sure. Demonic Procession does a lot to make the Lara combo way more consistent. That's it for this video. Like it if you did. Don't even then subscribe for more Shadowrise content in the very near future. Uh, of course, thank you to my wonderful patrons as well. Patreon.com slash Ignidius. Check it out in the description down below. 
If you'd like to support the channel as well, it definitely helps out. And I'll see you next time for the next Shadowverse video. Make sure to tune in. Bye!